In a new article, Swedish scientists report that toxic chemicals called per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances have actively spread around the world. High levels of these compounds are found in rainwater even in the most remote corners of the planet, such as Antarctica and Tibet. Because many people on the planet believe that rainwater is safe to drink, this could be a global threat to human health. PFAs are synthetic fluorogenic chemical compounds, or simply fluorinated substances, which are extremely toxic. Scientists already proved that many of these chemicals are dangerous to human health, and therefore they have been gradually eliminated from industrial use over the past 20 years. But PFAs are very long-lived chemical compounds, and just because they are no longer used does not mean that they have disappeared from the environment. According to Jan Cousins of Stockholm University, levels of one of the dangerous fluorinated substances that cause cancer, perfluorooctanoic acid, dropped tens of millions of times in drinking water in developed countries. But scientists suggest that even near zero levels of this acid in drinking water can have negative health effects throughout a person's life. In their new paper, Swedish scientists write that, according to their study, levels of PFOC in rainwater exceed more or less safe levels for human health. The scientists note that rainwater should not be drunk, it is dangerous. But many people on the planet drink rainwater because for some it is almost the only source of drinking water. Scientists in their study focused on four PFAW substances, one of which was the aforementioned perfluorooctanoic acid. Scientists believe that despite the sharp decline in the use of these substances, they are long lived and continue to circulate in the hydrosphere of the planet and will do so for many years to come. In addition, the effects of these toxic chemicals on human health are not yet fully understood. What's even worse is that other types of PFAs are still being used in production and how they affect health is not known at all. Scientists believe that the use of the entire class of these synthetic organofluorochemicals should be limited as much as possible because it can cause far-reaching negative consequences for both the environment and humans.